excited about this one. Great action. In fact, Steven Seagal hasn't done this much sword play and knife play since the original Under Siege. So, very, very excited about this film. This is a Steven Seagal action movie. This is going back to more of his roots uh, of doing a lot of the action. He did a lot of the action himself. I mean, this is something that uh, he hasn't done in a long time. Um, so it makes this one unique. If you're a Steven Seagal fan, you're going to love the movie because of Steven Seagal. But I think it's the first time I've ever seen a story where you have good and evil, black and white, yin and yang, opposites, really come to learn a lesson at the end of the movie. You tell me the truth and I won't hurt you. Where is Mia? I don't know. I don't know. The script came from, it came from an idea that Ben and I had a long time ago. The idea originally was that it was going to be a sequel to our last movie. And then working with Steven on the draft, he ended up wanting to put in an element of a guy who is sort of uh, on, you know, a bent for revenge. And so he sort of uh, evolved it from there. A good man, you know, it is very easy to say, but it's very hard to find. And uh, what's really interesting about the script is we show this man who uh, hunts down people for a living and kills them. And along the way, he meets uh, a girl and her sister and decides to save them. This character is a, is a guy who is fairly bitter about life and uh, the cards that he's been dealt. He's not really a man of many words. He's very uh, soft-spoken and quiet. But um, when it comes to you know taking care of business, uh, and he's forced to, he does. And I think he's the kind of character that is what we call a reluctant hero. He doesn't really step up to do any of this stuff unless he has to. What is your business? When you say, what is my business, you mean, what do I do for a living? Yes. I'm a handyman. 